Hey, what's up? Where are you calling from, G? I'm calling from uh, North Carolina. How old are you, man? I'm pretty old now. I'm 26, unfortunately. Okay. Go ahead. Talk to me. What's going on? Sorry. I, I was going to try to be like, uh, I was trying to, I was trying to, I, I thought you had a question, but uh, yeah, right now I've just been following a lot of loneliness and, uh, and I tried dating apps in the past and stuff and they never seem to work out. I've only been in one date in my entire life. I've only had one sexual experience that didn't go super well. So I'm just trying to look for advice on how to do and how to date women I'm actually attracted to and stuff. I've been asking like chat GPT a lot of questions. You've been asking chat GPT how to get laid? Yeah. My goodness, bro. Okay. <laughs> Hold up. Let's don't cry. Don't cry. Don't live It's like I would ask Tinder pi- pictures, like which one's the best picture and all this crap. It's okay. It's okay. You just haven't practiced. So let's let, let's figure out what the real issue is here. All right. Okay. You've only had one sexual experience in your whole life. Yeah, and I've been on uh Luxmax.org for like a few years now, which is not good either. I know that. Right. They've been telling you incel information, right? Yeah, like I thought about getting like genioplasty and a bunch of other bullshit. Like, remember that guy? I, I watched him a couple of times and I realized how pathetic I was being because I had similar mindset to him. I'm not as far gone, but you know what I mean. Okay. So what are you doing to change this situation right now? Uh, I started working out. Um, I started doing stuff like I started like dermal rolling my eyebrows, started to try to grow facial hair even. And uh, I've been dermal rolling it with minoxidil and all this stuff, started finasteride. And, and right now, right now I'm a little off kempt, but some, but I'm planning on growing my hair a, a little longer and stuff, but otherwise. Okay. So hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's slow down. Let's slow down. <laughs> we got a lot to work with. What are you? Are you in school right now? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm in school right now. I was on in, in the library, but yeah, I've been pretty depressed for a couple of times. I I know I got to stop watching pornography, so I'm making steps to try to do that. Okay, we got a lot to uncover. Let's give me give me one piece at a time. Let's slow down. Slow down. What are you studying in school, bro? I'm studying. Uh, I'm in grad school studying electrical engineering. Okay, how long you been in school? You look like an engineering student. I, I know I was one of them. Um, yeah, I've been in school since, uh, so I was in school from 2016 to 2020. And then unfortunately what happened was, uh, I went to get a job, but I had a lot of like body image issues and all this BS. So I lost a couple of jobs because of that. Cause I couldn't focus. Cause I was thinking these girls I want to date, like they're way too good for me and stuff. And I felt like horrible because of that. And that let me to get fired from jobs because I, I couldn't focus on my work literally. Wait, 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 slow down, slow down. Hold up. This is <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. You got fired from jobs because what you were staring at the girls? No, it's because I just felt like I wasn't attractive enough to like date those women and, and I was like isolated at home too for like a few years. Well, what does that have to do with your you couldn't do your regular job? You were working the job. What what does that have to do with your job? I just stuff preoccupied my head that didn't allow me to focus completely on the job but was what the issue was because you were worrying about fucking the girls technically i was worrying about trying to date women and stuff and why they don't want to date me and all this stuff my mom said it's like my mentality or something but okay and you, what, you were that was an engineering job i was a software engineer for a few years okay so now you're back in school grad school yeah and uh i actually got a job offer because I did well in the internship, so things are starting to look up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, we got a lot to unpack. All right, first, <laughs> first, first, you can't begin. You can't begin far from your job because this this incel mind has overcome you. So what you got to do is you got to start putting in some effort. Okay. Uh, to make yourself listen, slow down, stop talking. You got to start putting in some effort. What's so funny? I'm just, I'm, I'm just. Lo- I just, it, it's just involuntary. I just haven't been sleeping a lot. You haven't been sleeping a lot? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you got. You look like you're losing your mind, bro. Calm your ass down. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath right now. Yeah, I did. Sorry about that. Okay, so what you got to do is to, you got to start combating this. Okay. Right? How often do you talk to girls? Uh, I have, uh, actually, I have two female roommates, so I talk to them like every day. That doesn't count, bro. You and you and you're you're their boy best friend. 
Yeah. No, you, you need to talk to girls that, that you have interest in, not to, you, you're turning into a boy best friend. As with I have interest in, I've probably only talked to like one this semester. Okay. So you got to make it a point of emphasis to start talking to women that you like. Stop watching porn because you're addicted. And it's, it's literally, this is what porn does, guys. This is what porn does to men. He can't sit still. He's losing his his engineering job. Yeah. And like, and I, this shit is crazy. Let's stop. Stop. Slow down. Slow down. The porn thing, how often do you watch porn? Uh, sometimes it's once a week. Sometimes it's like four times a week. So it depends on the week. So you got to you gotta wean away from this addiction of watching other men have sex. Yeah, it sounds pathetic now I think about it. Yeah, because you, you're sitting up here getting off to another dude getting laid. All right? I know you don't want people to see you. You're in the library. But, <laughs> but, but, but yeah, I'll, I'll, try to do, I'll try to become more attractive than myself. But. No, no, it's not just about being coming attractive. Your mindset is all fucked up. You look like you, you look like a deer in headlights. You look lost. You're 26 years old. You want to have one. The, the girl you had sex with, how did that happen? Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I was like hypnotized to become confident or something. So I, someone hypnotized me to become confident. So I was actually confident for a night and that's how it worked out, I guess. You got hypnotized. Yes. Who hypnotized you, bro? Some like guy from like my old campus. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that sounds like some nonsense, bro. Did you get drunk? A little bit, but I only drank like one drink. I wasn't super drunk. Okay, so you approached the girl? Yeah. Okay. And that was the only sexual experience you ever had? Yes. Okay. So listen to me. You can be, let's, let's hypnotize your ass to be confident every day. And the way we're going to do that is by action. Okay. Are you going to the gym? Yeah, I've been going to the gym. Yeah. Okay. How consistent are you doing that? Well, like, two three times a week i know i have to do more okay you got to go to the gym more consistently okay what's the are you in what um raleigh north carolina okay he doesn't want to say it out loud <laughs> uh you got to go to the gym more consistently i need okay. you to start talking to girls i need you to find an accountability partner okay that you can you're going to pay money every time you watch porn okay sure because you need somebody to help you get off of this shit so you can start being more confident with yourself. So you can start talking to more girls. So you okay. can just overall just stop being a loser. The fact that you got fired from a job because you over here thinking about women is insane. Yeah, I know. It's really bad. My mom doesn't know the real reason either. She just thinks I'm incompetent. Right. So it, it, this is what happens when you do monk mode, right? And you fucking obsessed with, you think that work is going to solve your, your lack of social skills, like you listen, you guys got hip testosterone. You're a man. Whatever, whatever anybody else tells you, at the end of the day, you got a pair of nuts. Okay. <laughs> and it produced testosterone. You're gonna want some ass. If you don't if you don't figure that shit out, you're gonna have a lot of issues in life. Yeah, I've been having a lot of issues personally and mentally because of that. Yeah. What kind of issues mentally? It's just like feelings of inadequacy, and then I'm thinking of like literally like like that crazy dude, like that other guy thought about cutting open the face and I'm trying to stop thinking about it. But it's really dumb. Ain't nothing wrong with your face, bro. You just gotta, you gotta just switch up your hairstyle, right? Just go to the gym and just try harder. Okay. I'll, I'll try to do that. And... All right, man. Yep. Thank you. All right, bro. Have a good one.